What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to LIFF, L-I-F-F. -F. Why am I spelling it for you? You guys can see it in the title of the goddamn video. But uh, this is another game from students at IsArt, 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 whatever. I'm, I'm going to say it that many different ways until somebody tells me how to actually pronounce it. Um, and it looked like it had a lot to do with painting and painting in like a 3D space and that the world looked like it was uh, designed in such a way to make it look as if it was painted. And that had me really, really curious because like making art in an art medium, I don't know, artception? Let's, let's just take a look at it. Hold to move. Okay, so we're, we're breaking out of like some fucking cave, aren't we? So, if I, if I release the trigger, it, it pulls me back out of it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's take a look at this thing. Yeah! I told you I was breaking out of something. Okay. That's neat. That's a really cool way to introduce the mechanic. So, can I, do, like, do that out here? What does this do? Oh, lord. I can just destroy the world. Okay. Yeah, and I have to, to like, erase things out of my way. All right. Cool. So, are we gonna, like, get into some... Oh, that one just did it for me. Uh, like, being able to paint in the world? Or are we just able to... Also, what are we? Oh, hold up. I want to I get a good look at us. We're a, we're a funny looking little thing, aren't we? I don't know. Kind of cute. Like a Norse god kind of way. Eh? Oh. What's going on here? So that was like every screenshot from the, from the itch page, just like right in the first minute. So I think that bodes well for what they might be uh, hiding later in the game. X to open canvas, hold to paint. Okay. So it's left trigger to erase and right trigger to paint. Oh God. Lif. In case you were still wondering how to spell it. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing I need to go around to all of the little like black spires. Oh, this is a cool moment. Yeah, so open canvas, and we paint back this way, right? Nice! All right. So it looks like there's going to be little glowies everywhere that we need to paint between. All right, and then do I need to erase this motherfucker? Let's see, let's see if I can do it from all the way back here. No? Okay. Well, let's, let's head back then. This way. All right. So what's up with you, dude? Oh? What was that? What was going on there? I also really like that the prompts have gone away. I like that. I don't like it when a game prompts me all the time for like what I'm supposed to be doing. And the fact that this has already stopped. I just hope it doesn't go back to prompting me. Alright, so let's draw from here to here. Nice. So what kind of creature are we that can just, like, paint things into existence like this? Bring leaves back to the tree? Open canvas? Hold, move to paint? Okay. So do I need to, like, paint the leaves back on? Oh, I am a master artist. Do I need to, like, paint this over? Whoa! Okay, I'm not sure if I completely understand that, but I, I'm getting a grip on it. So, what if we... 
Oh, so when it changes color, it's like a brush selection tool. Okay, so yeah, what if we, like, paint across this? Oh! Dude, that's really neat! It's like a painting app got turned into a game! And when you mouse over something, or I guess, uh, controller in this, in this case, it's like your eyedropper tool, where it allows you to, like, select what you want, and then you can just, like, drag it to where you want it. Oh, that's really neat! That's really neat. Alright, let's grab this. Ah. Oh, man. I really like seeing the color come back to the world. This is like, this is cathartic. It is. Oh, and it just gave us a little indicator that maybe there's some, like, central thing that's going. What are you, floaty rocks? <laughs> this, this is like games in a nutshell. My curiosity is immediately uh, thwarted by, by another interesting thing that's closer to me. All right. What did that do? Am I just looking around? Hey, can I open the canvas when I do that? Let's see. It's a good test. No, I cannot. All right, so these are just like lookout points. Uh, Izart's games seem to have a lot of those. They were in um, Fade and they were in uh, Intertwined. Interesting. Yeah, just just like little places where you can look out over the the everything. I don't mind it, but I don't know. Not necessarily something I'm all that interested in. All right. So what if we open the canvas? <laughs> I love that I can just do that anywhere. Hey guys, what's up? So is this the grand thingy, my bobber? that we are unlocking? What's going on here? Can I experiment with this for a little bit? Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't draw with the darkness. Oh, weird. Okay, so what about this thing? Oh, it's flowers. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go find some of the other orbs so that we might get through El Spooky Door. God, this is really pretty. This is really pretty. Hey guys, am I, like, freeing your souls or something? Because you're creepy as is, but the fact that you just dematerialize at my presence is also slightly disconcerting. What's up with this doorbell? Oh, it's church bell. Okay. Oh, we're just going on a little wander, aren't we? Oh no, is that invisible? No, not invisible walls, just weird geometry. Okay, sometimes it's a little difficult to tell the difference. Yeah, what's this pillar? Not sure what you. Oh, hey, Birdos! Do I need to give myself? I need to sacrifice myself for the. Oh. You guys want red, huh? Yeah. You guys want blue. This is awesome! Wow! There we go. I just want to say real quick 
that to anybody who ever says that games cannot be art, this, this glorious thing here is a giant fuck you. This is so beautiful. This is, it's just so pretty. Look at this. Oh, wow. All right, be free, little one. I am your king. I shall do kingly things. Hi there, Scarecrow. What can I do for you today? Anything? No? Am I not allowed through this way? Do I need to find another path? Yes, Ding Dong Doorbell. Ding Dong Church Bell. Oh, did you guys die fishing? Hey, guys. As creepy as those guys are, they do offer a nice little, like, snapshot into an idea of the town. Oh, hold up. I forget that we can do that. <laughs> Sorry. I have the, uh, the power to paint material into the world. God damn. You know, like, adaptive lighting? Everything brightens up when I, I look at the sky. And then it, it becomes more saturated as I look back down. Oh, what's up, dude? Were you just, like, on a camping trip? Alright. Let's go find some more of these evil pillars that are... Um... Working everything up here. Can I not walk past this? Okay, um, what if I just do this, then? Oh, shit. Outsmarted by a paintbrush. Okay. Ah, here it is. All right. What's going on here? Nothing special for this one? Just get into it? Yeah. Are those hay bales? My first impression that it was like a weeping willow or something. All right. We have three left. Three left. Yeah. This almost looks like something that was made in, uh, Tilt Brush. Yeah! It looks like a body! Uh... <laughs> out of context, that might sound a little bit weird, but there was a game that I played from Etpa, another one of the game schools, game design schools, uh, also in France, I believe. And it was made entirely in... or the artwork of it was made entirely in Tilt Brush? That's what this reminds me of. Like these kind of super saturated, sketchy, 2D, 3 sprite hybrids. I really like the look of it though. Okay, we're not going that way. So where are these? There's a pillar of darkness and here's a pillar of darkness. So, um, ah, all right, can, can I erase this? Yeah, I can, okay. Can I erase the darkness? I cannot! Worth a try. Okay, so infested water wheel? Is this a, uh, like a mill? It's a mill. Oh, is this gonna make wood? Eh, close enough. Looks like a big furry boa. Okay, so what's the deal here? Do I need to, like, er oh god. I fear I've done too much. Alright, so what if I, like, erase some of this? No? Am I supposed to, like, come at this from a different angle? But what if I just did this? Can't erase that. Okay. Like, drop down in there. Oh, we were able to access it. Okay. 
I feel like I kind of glitched myself out of that one. That one didn't feel entirely natural. So if intended, not great. If not, then that was my folly for going at it the wrong way. Unless, of course, the game designers somehow blame themselves for not making it completely clear. I don't know. I've had some, some of them do that. There's another doorway. Can I just like straight up erase this door? No. Okay, what can I erase? I can erase the stone around the door. That doesn't really do anything for me, though. Okay. So, there's two spires left? And I'm assuming, like, the one in the middle is going to be one of them. So, which one is it? Okay, so it's just like smack dab in the middle of town. All right. I wonder what the like algorithm in the game is to determine what's in the foreground and what's in the background when you're aiming that stuff around. That seems like something that might have been a little difficult to me, but I'm also a layman when it comes to code, so. Yeah, just like how it how it goes about drawing its path. That's something that I'd be really curious about. Devs, if you end up watching this, I would I really love like the dumbest explanation, like for the simplest, least understanding person, um, how how that drawing mechanic works. I would love to know that. Nice, 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 nice. We freed up the village. Very cool. Right, it's just the one left. So can I like draw from here to here? <laughs> Unlimited power! <laughs> you know, I I feel like I'd be really over the top, like crazy with a power like this. But the truth is, having to walk across that, that'd be too much for me. <laughs> I'm too much of a lazy shit to, <laughs> to make use of a power like this. Okay, where's this last one? I feel like I actually need to make use of the, uh, the little rock tower things. Um, can I, like, turn you off, Belle? As pretty as you are, I, I only like hearing you so many times. Nope. Well, an attempt was made. All right, let's, uh, let's go, like, right here to right here. Oh man, I really like that. I really love when games just have a, a mechanic that gives you that freedom in the world. Just like, you wanna, you wanna walk a place? Cool, make a fucking path to it. That sounds sick. All right, so where is this last one? All right, I wanna test this. Okay, so that's in range, but that's not. Wow. All right. I'm just kind of, I'm pushing the game to its limits. Oh, is there extra stuff that you can do in the world? Like... Oh, that's cool. There's just more of it. It's like in the world. That's really cool. All right, yeah, I wanted to look at this lookout stone. I'm not sure how this stone enables me to, like, look out like this, but maybe I'm not supposed to think that it's the character. Okay, my, yeah, my only guess is, like, that center area. I feel like I'm getting into places that I'm not supposed to be. Oh, uh, but I don't care. I love it. I love it. Oh, there is just, like, an invisible wall there, isn't there? Okay. Um, can I... yeah, I can draw down to this. Down we go. This music's really pretty. Oh, do I need to free all of the citizens? Is that what I need to do?
If so, that might be a little bit frustrating because I don't know how many there are or like where they would be. But I'm gonna go wander around for a little bit. I'll be back. Oh man. I erased the house just to see if there was anything inside of it and it was like a solid object. Why do I feel like it has something to do with this? Do I need to like draw this to you? Okay, let's just get rid of all of this nastiness. Yeah, so I really just, I don't see it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Unless it's like back up top. That seems a little like unintuitive and out of the way, you know what I mean? Unless there was just something I completely missed while I was up here. Looking out over all of this, it's it's hard for me to tell if there's something else that I'm supposed to do, because everything else was marked by those big black pillars. So now that those are gone, there's not really an indication it's like, what's next? Okay, this kind of feels out of bounds. I was thinking there might be something like a little bit secret over here, but... Uh, it's starting to not feel like that. Oh, come on, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, so I'm I'm really worried that I'm just gonna have to leave this here without finishing it, because I really really wanna finish this. I really like that there's like music assigned to the different areas too. Like when you're by the stream. It's this, but then when you go into the forest, it becomes that. The, the transition isn't seamless, but that's fine. It gives each, uh, each section its own feel. Yeah, we got the farms, we've got the mill. So all I could really think of to do was to go into the middle and do something, but I can't, like, paint this in any way. Oh, and it's just dead silent here. Yeah. I don't know what to do with these. Like, I can't erase them. Painting them doesn't do anything. Connecting them doesn't do anything. Um... The only other thing I can think is, like, paint them to the door? Yeah, connecting them to themselves doesn't work. Erasing the glowing stones doesn't work. So I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss, and I'm really, really disappointed about that, but... I still think this is gorgeous, and the music is fantastic. The mechanics are amazing. And, uh, can I just erase you? I don't know. If there is a way to finish the game and there's more to this, I will come back to it. I will replay it, I will finish it. But uh, until then, I feel like I have to leave this here because I am out of time. And uh, I've, been, I've been walking around for about 15 minutes on my own, just trying to figure out what the hell to do. I don't know. There, there's something about this place and this music and the, the sense of both creativity and destruction that you have. It just kind of stirs something inside me. I don't know what it is, but this is this is really really cool. Yeah. This has been Liff. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.